What's up, peoples? Uh, so, <laughs> so I was I was just chilling earlier, right? And I was thinking after all the after all the uh the things that we were scrambling around to do, I was like, did I ever make the video? <laughs> so when I got back on the thing, I looked at it and I was like, oh god, I said I was gonna make this like how long ago? It's probably about it's pro it's Saturday. It's about to be like a whole other week before I even said that. I mean, after I've even said that. So, like, I'm going to just break it down to y'all like this. YouTube in college is going to be way harder. <laughs> and I think that particular video, after seeing the exercises that I put together, I'll just leave them, I'll just leave them separate. And you guys have... Of course, y'all could have just been doing them by yourself the whole time. It's not like y'all couldn't just take the videos, boo, 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 and then put, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not the hardest thing in the world to get a pencil and paper and just write the stuff down. But like, at the same time, I'd say to go ahead and chill out for a little bit. And next time that I come on here, because see, see, I'm not going to give you a particular day, okay? Because, bro, when I tell you... That y'all might only get videos on the weekends. I mean, I'm dead serious. I might only get videos on the weekends. And if you don't, you might be stuck. <laughs> Just for me. Like, like there's like more than a billion different channels on here. And I say a billion because there's probably more channels on YouTube than there is people alive on Earth. Because they're just inactive. You know what I'm saying? But like, other than that, I think I'll come back with more of a rebuild kind of thing for the workouts from now on. Because... At the end of the day, if you can do a push up but you're not very flexible, I heard this from my coach, my uh my track coach by the way. If you it doesn't matter how strong you are. Yeah, that's how, that's what he said. It doesn't matter how strong you are. If you're not very flexible, you ain't going to be able to do much. It's like imagine you're a mini body like imagine me being considered a bodybuilder and I'm just not very flexible, right? That's like the most dangerous thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. Blood's all clogged up. Nothing's flowing for real. Blood flow sucks. Um, easy to get muscle tears. Easy to, easier to get injured. You're more susceptible to a lot of different things when you're not very flexible, man. So basically what I'm going to come back with is a whole like flexibility, mobility, kind of rebuild for, that, for the way that we're doing these workouts. Because to be honest, I thought about it and I was like, there's more friends and family that make up the subscriber count on this channel. And I don't want them to come up to me and be like, BJ, I tried your shoulder workout that I was because I was building a shoulder workout for uh, for the thing. And I don't want I don't want people to come into the comment section and be like, BJ, I was trying your shoulder workout and I like tore my rotate my rotator cuff and my clavicle is now weird looking like, nah, I don't want to I don't want to hear any of that. I know the clavicle is a bone. Don't get on me. <laughs> but um, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want I just don't want y'all to be within the range of those people that just watch the video. Cause basically I'm protect you know what? I might as well be real with y'all since y'all the fam at this point. When I started working out, I didn't have a notion of I didn't I said notion. I didn't have a thought of like just trying to be better than someone else. What I was thinking was whatever career I pursue, which will be in sports no matter what. I want to be the best in that. And then just seeing all these other people around me that are like already good at what they do and me having not played much like the like look, football it was like I practiced and I didn't play any games. That that was it. I wound up leave I learned, I wound up leaving the team for reason for reasons that I will just leave in the shadows because I'm done with all that. It doesn't even matter. I'm 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 in my college right now doing my sport. It doesn't matter. Soccer probably could have did soccer like i'm not gonna lie to you i wasn't very good but i was having a lot of fun and the, and the thing about sports is if you have fun, if you're having fun with your sport and you're ready to put in work so that you can continue to have fun and get to the and get to higher and higher levels and then get paid to have fun bro you're set <laughs> you're set that's your sport that's what you pick and then i came to uh potomac and i did which one I did, do I do first? Cross country or wrestling? I did cross country and then I took a little break because there was no other season next. And then I did wrestling. But midway into wrestling, I feel like I I had to thank wrestling to a certain degree because 
had I not did wrestling, I wouldn't have met Coach Mike the first time. I wouldn't have heard. I wouldn't have found out that indoor season had already started. And I would have just been, I would have just been stuck. I would have been looking for information that people would have, like the way it is, like the way it was at the, at that point, they were really slow about distribution information. It's kind of like, it was really stupid. So from that point on, it was just like, okay, I'm all about my running. Like <laughs> I'm all about my running. If there's one feature, if I was a, if there were the video game where you can just pick any sport and you make your own character build based on your own features my hot like and it was percentage bars and it was like okay so intelligence agility no intelligence speed strength it would be like i'm not gonna say the other two but my speed would be my highest level bar and then strength would be like a close second like in my opinion that's how i see it so like that to me just knowing that there's a sport where it's pretty much dedicated to the thought of speed and endurance because remember i did cross country first so just being able to last a little longer was all i was thinking about and man coach mike changed everything (laughs) coach mike changed everything up i was like so i was so ready to do um do things the way that i had planned them but then i realized he was a real coach like not that any of the coaches that i had before were like bad or anything like my favorite if i had before coach mike my favorite coach was my boxing coach I think his name was. I had there were multiple guys in there, and this Nesto. I consider Chop a coach because man, I didn't never met nobody that can punch me in the face and teach me stuff at the same time. That was the funniest day of my life. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Other than that, sports can really take you for a ride. It's all about really what's up here. But now that I've already been through the cycle of overwork, injure, repeat, overwork, injure, repeat, and then try to learn and then accidentally overwork, injure, repeat. Look, that third part, when you when you try to learn, like, because it wasn't like I wasn't trying to learn. It was a matter of I wasn't looking for the right information when I started. Now, I did start the right way, in my opinion, but the way I continued forward was what messed it up. I started with body weight exercises and slowly started to add weight training, but I wasn't stretching a lot and I wasn't doing any type of mobility work, I would run, stretch, lift, and that was it. And then I would come out, the way that, and the way that I got injured was I would come out to practice that day, we would run, we would lift, we would stretch, and then I'd go home, and then I'd warm back up, and I'd do the stuff that I'd do before that back at the house. So it was like extreme overtraining, okay? Like there's no, there's no, there's no point of putting it to the side. It was extreme overtraining. And like, even the stuff that I, when I tried to tone it down and do le- and do less a little bit, I start to feel like it kind of it kind of plays with your mind a little bit because you don't know how to tell if your results are like substantial or declining to a degree. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like say you do a bunch of arm stuff all the time, and like you feel like you're supposed to be used to not struggling when you when you transition to certain things, but you do after you try to tone down. I mean, after you try to relax a little bit on the on the high rep ranges and the short rest times and things like that it's like you just really lose a lot of what your mind thought was good for you so it's like i'm gonna be here all day if i run up telling you how to how to how everything run up being worst case scenario go ahead relax on the work that i put out in the last few videos this is going to be a complete revamp of the entire channel the next video when it comes out will either be stretching or mobility work. And I'll most likely have to make a couple of warm-up videos because I didn't make the warm-up video for the first time that I was supposed to do it. I just made a yoga video, which was confused. I realized that I did that for, for a friend. I, I'm sorry. That was a complete, that was in the past. It, I hadn't even put out like, I think that was before like the fourth day, the fourth week. Yeah. So like and subscribe if you're new and peace.